Jimmy Gay. Here, today I'm going to tell you about this book I read. It is called Walt Disney Young Movie Maker by Marie Hammontree, illustrated by Fred Irvin. The book starts off when Walt Disney is six years old and he's at a train station moving from Chicago to Maislin, Missouri. On the farm in, in Marsland, he has a pet pig named Porky, and and one day he decides to paint a picture of Porky on the on the barn, which his father did not like. And in this place, he learns how to draw when his aunt Maggie comes and gives him a pen and pencil set. And later, his parents decide to move to Kansas City, where his, where his where he works as a paper boy and earns enough money to go to a to a magic show where he where he loves it and then he ruin and then when he goes up there to be the magician's volunteer he ruins the magician's show by telling the folks by ruining the magician's tricks and he also takes an interest in and acting and plays as Abraham Lincoln in a play at his school and then he then he goes to the Art Institute of Kansas City. And then Walt Disney moves to Mace moves to Chicago moves back to Chicago and his dad buys a jelly factory. And then all his brothers go to the Navy, the uh, and the Army to in World War One. And he wants to go too, but he's too young. So he fakes his, so he fakes his birth certificate, so he can join the Red Cross and drives, and drives ambulances. Next to the guy who would soon make, who would soon make McDonald's. Then after the war, he decides he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be a worker in the jelly factory. So he moves back to Kansas City, and then gets a job as a cartoonist. And. And then he ta and then at night time he takes home the studio's camera and learns how to make animated cartoons. And then he makes these cartoons called Laughograms. And then he makes a studio, which it's which the studio's distributor goes out of business. So the business, so his biz so his studio fails. And then he moves to California, where his brother is. And then he starts Disney Bros Studios. His first big breakthrough is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, but it but the cartoons are distributed through Universal Studios to feeders. And when he wants to start his own company, Walt doesn't pay attention to the fine print on his contract. And he realizes that he does not own Universal Studio. He does not own Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, so he stops making Oswald the Lucky Rabbit cartoons. After the incident at Universal Studios, Walt Disney makes Mickey Mouse, whose original name was Mortimer, and but it was changed to Mickey Mouse because Mrs. Disney changed it, thought it was too sissy. So they change it to Mickey Mouse, and then, and then he, and then it was the first cartoon character to ever speak, ever speak, and it was a huge inspiration to people. And its first cartoon to speak was Steamboat Willie. Woo, woo. Mickey also gets some friends. He gets mm, Goofy, Donald. And he also gets a girlfriend named Minnie, and his friend Donald gets a girlfriend named Daisy, and his friend Goofy gets a girlfriend named Clarabelle, and he and there also are some are these two chipmunks named Chip and Dale. And Walt Disney decides to make on a full-length movie, so what he does is. He invents this camera called the 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 multi plane camera to uh, in order to make the film. And then when he then when he makes it, the film wins seven Oscars. 
Oscars for each door. Do 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 do. It's World War Two, everyone, and Walt Disney is donating is donating war emblems for planes, um, mer um, Marine Corps, Navy, you name it, it's there. And when I saw many of these when I went to Dayton, Ohio, and my favorite one is when is when is is. Dumbo swooping over the Japanese rising sun. It's awesome. Walt Disney fi finally made his crown his crowning achievement. Walt Disneyland. It holds a lot of stuff. He he and he also detailed everything to the la to like the la to like to like the park pavement to the rides. It, one of my favorites. A few of my favorites are. Frontierland and Adventureland. They're the best. You should go there. It's so cool and awesome. I'm Kay McGay. Thanks for watching.